Hi, boys and girls. Teacher Ella here with Hazel. And we're going to do a quick art project with you guys. Um, it's really easy and the end result is really cool. So all, for this, all you need is a piece of paper, um, some watercolor, and some tape. And we have found that um, painter's tape works the best because at the end of this, you're going to pull off the tape when it's all dry. So to start this, you take, well first, Hazel wanted her piece of paper in a heart shape. So what I'm gonna do for her is just give her strips of tape that she is going to put on her paper in whatever way that she wants. Ooh, very cool. And it's okay if it goes past the paper, that's fine. It's past the paper. Yep, that's good. Okay, here's your next piece. That's a big one. Yeah. So yeah. kind of, yeah, you want to move them around so there's space in between because what we're going to do is paint over it and wherever the tape is, it will stay white. So do you want to do one more maybe up and down and kind of make like a star or something? What are you thinking? Love it. Okay, is that enough tape for you? Yeah. Okay, so let me show you what Hazel's looks like. She decided to kind of put hers like this which I think will look really cool. And actually the tape um, will help keep it moved down while she's watercoloring. So after you have the tape on whatever design that you want, show them what you do, Hazel. We've got three colors here. And what she's gonna do is just um, paint over the whole paper all on all the white parts. <laughs> Get on the paper. That's exactly what I was just going to say. It is okay if it gets on the tape. And I might help you, Hazel, so that we don't take too long on this video. Can I do red on this one? Uh-huh. So we're just kind of doing the whole thing in different colors. And like Hazel said, it's okay if you go over the tape. But you do want to cover up all the white parts of the paper that you see. I like how you're doing it in all the colors. This is and it's also okay if the colors mix together. It'll look kind of cool. So you're, she's putting some yellow on the red to make what color? Orange. Yeah, okay, let's go over here now so we can finish up. Ooh, watch your dress. That's not a dress, that's a skirt. Watch your skirt. So normally I would not be helping her, but for time's sake, I'm helping her finish up. But I know how to do the finish up. I know you know how to finish. Okay. And normally I would say, take your time, do a really nice job. So yeah, just paint, <laughs> that's okay. Paint over all the white parts of the paper. And what you want to do is leave the tape on there while the paint is drying. And then when the paint is all dry, you can pull the paint off and where the tape is um, will stay white. So we're going to show you one that we did yesterday. Hazel, do you want to show them what you did yesterday? So this is one that we finished or that she did all by herself yesterday. And it turns out really, really cool. So it's super easy. You don't need a lot of materials for it. And it turns out really cool. I'm just kind of a different sort of painting. So where are we gonna hang this one up, Hazel? Where do you wanna hang it up? Right here. Oh, right here, okay. Yeah. Looks like it's going in the kitchen. So have fun with it. Um, you can make different shapes of papers. You can put your... Um, so what? Yeah, it'll take a little while to dry. You can put your tape however you want. It might be fun um, if you had a big paper to uh, you know, you could write out your kid's name with the tape or help them do that. Um, they could put lots and lots of tape or just a little bit, however they want to do it. So have fun with it. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs>